Okay, I'm going to be making a beaver card from the Creative Critter, and I cut him out at five and a half inches, and um, I also flipped this image, so everything will be looking different than what you see it in the handbook. Um, one other suggestion I might want to make for you is that um, when you go to cut out paper, two things. If your paper is not of good quality, it will tear, and if your mat is not really sticky, it will also tear. And this yellow paper was um, really a nightmare paper. I would not suggest getting an expensive paper when you go to use your Cricut. Um, the next image is the uh, main image, and instead of making it a dark color, which is what I usually do, I made it um, a baby blue. The next image is layer one and I made this a dark image and um, it's dark brown and the other thing I did do for this image is I used my cuddle bug like I did in a previous video um, the difference for this one is it's larger than what the cuddle bug <clears throat> will hold and for you to run it through so what I had to do um, is I did his head first and um, and I folded over the the body part so it went underneath and it and it ran through fine and then I did the bottom part but what I did is I didn't do the folded over part all I did is I is I brought the body to the end of the cuddle bug and only ran through the end of it and there's maybe just a very slight row that you can't see the dots but it's really not significant um, when you go to see the card the next image is layer two and that's the belly and the next image and it's very small it's the white that you see there is the beaver's teeth and one of the things that I noticed when I tried to do that in my gypsy is it would not show up no matter what I did even when I tried to um, make it close up I could not see the beaver's teeth so um, it turns out when you go to cut it um, it shows up when you go to cut it, so you know that they're there. Um, I just thought I'd give you that tip. I don't know if everybody else is having that issue, but I did with the beaver, beaver teeth. And um, when I went to cut it the first time, because I tried it so many times, there was many teeth. Um, I didn't cut them out because I could see them before I cut them out. Um, the other thing I did, because I used um, a lighter color um, for my main image instead of a brown, um, I had to um, define the eyes and I punched out some black um, dots with my um, hole punch. I wanted to add a flower to my beaver card and I decided to use a Gypsy Wanderings flower and um, it doesn't have layers and because it doesn't have layers I had to cut it out twice and in fact what I did do is I used my Gypsy um, button that's called um, the hide button and it's on the advanced um, um, choice um, in your gypsy and in there there is a circle in the center which would be the center of the flower and I decided that I didn't want that cut out at this time so what I did was I um, hid the center circle and cut it out as a whole so I cut it out at three inches and I cut it out in white and I cut it out in green and um, what I did was I cut off the white stem and I'm going to be putting that on top of the green. Um, then what I did do is I went back in again and I hid the flower um, outline so that I would just have the center um, to cut out. And um, that's what I did and that's how I made that a layered uh, flower. I just added the main image to the card base. I thought I'd try to show you how I ran this through the cuddle bug. This is how I put the head into the cuddle bug embossing folder and then what I did is I just flipped that bottom part down and I slid that through. That's how I did the head. I just wanted you to see the rest of that. Um, so then after I did the head I then put the body in and um, it fit right through the um, cuddle bug without an issue going like this. Um, so that's how I did it. 
I just add layer 1 to the main image and you can probably see that there is a little hole in the middle of my um, beaver there in the chest and that was because my intention was I was going to put the flower through that so it looked like um, the beaver was holding the flower but it's not necessary it fits fine underneath um, the belly so my my suggestion is that you don't really need to do that the next thing you really need to do is prepare your flower before you put your belly on which is uh, layer two so it'll fit underneath there and what I did is I um, added the white flower that I had cut the white stem off of and I only glued it in the large circle area so that the petals will be a little bit more free. I just added the center to my flower. In order to position the flower in the right place, I really had to um, hold the, the little belly over it to see where I wanted it to go, and then I glued it down. Um, I only need to put glue on the leaf and the bottom of that stem. Um, if you put any on the flower, it's it just seems to not work as well. You might put some tape where you don't want it. So I just did the, the, the stem um, beneath the leaf and the leaf, and that was it. Okay, I just added layer two, which is the belly, and layer three, which is the beaver's teeth. I just added the punched out black circles to the middle of the eyes. And depending on where you put the black dots will give the character to the beaver. I chose to um, put them towards the bottom right, and that's what it looks like. Okay, my um, beaver card is finished, and I wanted to tell you one of the reasons why I decided to make this beaver card. I had seen a vintage card online, and the saying was, I may be busy as a beaver, but I just couldn't forget. So that's why I decided to make this card.